All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So we just got a new data download for Global's next celebration, which as you guys might know, will feature the Dokkan festival exclusive Gamma 1 and Gamma 2 from the Dragon Ball Super superhero movie. So uh, in today's video, we're gonna be going over everything that we got from this data download to give you guys a preview of uh, what's coming. Now, before we get into it, I want to give a shout out to my boy Proton10MG on Twitter for hosting all the assets. If you guys aren't already following him, then definitely go ahead and do so. And with that said, let's scroll down a little bit here and start with the new promo movie for the upcoming Gammas. A quick note is that the video will be displayed in landscape mode, so maybe turn your phone or turn your head. It's up to you. Let me just uh, pause the music here and enjoy, guys. I shall take on the challenge if you insist on interfering. I'll show you who's the superhero. Dr. Hedo's greatest creation. And I'm also a superhero! And there you have it guys, Gamma 1 and Gamma 2 are coming to Global about a week after they dropped on JP initially. And dude, they look so good, it's insane. I mean, there's something extra, uh, I guess cinematic about their animations, which makes sense considering, you know, they're from the, the movie, but I don't know man, there's just something about it that makes it feel extra... Yeah, cinematic, I guess is the right word. So I love the animations. We'll see them in full uh, in an upcoming video tomorrow when I do the pass or pull, give you guys a quick preview of the banner and all that stuff. But for now, we'll leave it there. Let's uh, move on to the rest of the assets. So we have the Gamma 1 right here. There's the, S uh, sorry, the SSR along with the TUR. And then we also have the Gamma 2, the SSR and uh, TUR. I kind of wish that they would have kept the like Docom text in the background for both arts because I don't know it's, it's, it's pretty cool you know and it's just not there in the TUR art which is a bit of a shame in my opinion but anyways uh, those are the Gammas. We also have the new Halloween unit which is the Fizz Angel Dabura. There is the SSR art one of my favorites in the game I gotta say and then the TUR which is actually with PyCon, but uh, this is actually not a joined forces unit. It's a Angel Debora, but with a PyCon in the uh, unit super attack or the partner super attack, right? So, you know, kind of continuing the theme of like random pairings for Halloween units, but at least this time it's just the Bura. Uh, the PyCon is just there in the animation. So uh, we have the new Halloween unit. Oh, by the way, all of this stuff is dropping on uh, October 28th at 6.30 a.m. GMT, which is 2.30 a.m. Eastern Time. And uh, I guess that would be uh, 11.30 p.m. Pacific the day before. So basically within the next like 26 hours or so from the time this video drops, which obviously could be different depending on when you watch this. But uh, the point is that is the time. If you want to convert it to your time zone, just plug it into Google and you should be able to find it. So uh, yeah, all of this stuff I believe should be dropping at that time. Uh, it looks like the Deborah actually is dropping, oh, in like a few hours. Okay, so never mind, never mind. The Gammas are dropping on the 28th. The Deborah, the Halloween unit is dropping before that. It's dropping tonight or this morning, I guess, depending on where you are. And uh, same thing with the EZA for the Fizz. Aider slash Hachan and Android uh, 17. 
27th at 6 a.m. GMT, okay? And uh, yeah, these guys are getting their Extreme Z Awakening, the Halloween unit from last year. We also got an Awakening and Extreme Z Awakening for the AGL Super Strike Pycon. There is his uh, TUR art along with a couple of boss uh, cards. There's a Angel Krillin and an Angel Yamcha. I think these guys might be for the new event, uh, most likely. And then we also have some new stages for um, the, oh, uh, Dragon Ball Super, Super Hero Story Event, Path to Power, or Path to Ultimate Power, Gohan and Piccolo. We got stages four to six. The bonus drop category is Miraculous Awakening. These are the maps for you to take a quick look at. There we go. And we also got two stages for the Jabura's All Out Effort in Heaven. So those are the two stages along with the Dabura uh, Medal. And also an update to the Majin Buu's Candy Mischief event from many years ago, the old Halloween event. They added a uh, bonus drop category, which is Battle of Wits. And we got two new stages for the PyCon event, uh, three and four for his Awakening Medals and his Extreme Z Awakening Medals, of course. There's the uh, Awakening Medal, and those are the Extreme Z Awakening Medals for the PyCon. <clears throat> okay, so after that, we have uh, Stage 7 of the Special Characters Edition Extreme Z area for the 8 and 17. There you go, very nice looking map, I gotta say. And also the Extreme Z Awakening Medals for the Hachan and 17. We got, uh, oh, the new Dokkan stages or Dokkan events for Gamma 1 and Gamma 2, along with their Awakening Medals, of course, for Gamma 1 and 2, respectively. We have, um, oh, updates to the Cell Max event Artificial Life Forms and Special Pose category characters now deal extra damage to Cell Max. Okay, and also two new tickets. Now this is actually a little bit random because Justice Incarnate is obviously, you know, referring to the Gammas, right? So you would think that this would be for the Gamma Banner. Although we also got a Dokkan Festival ticket as well, like for, you know, a normal Dokkan Festival Banner. So I'm not really sure why we got two separate tickets, you know, because um, it's just one banner. Both gammas are going to be on one banner, unless they change it for global and put them on separate banners. But that would still be random because, I mean, both these guys are like justice, right? So like, it should apply to both gammas. So I'm not really sure why there are two tickets. I got to be honest, um, unless there's going to be another Dokkan Fest banner that requires these tickets and this is for the gammas. But um, for now, I'm going to just say we got two tickets. We'll find out exactly why. Um, in a day or so, but for now, there you go. And uh, we got some treasure items. We got the little <laughs> plushies right there from the movie. We got some uh, scripted assets. There are a few piccolos. We got a couple of pycons. Uh, we got some Yamchas. A couple of ultimate Gohans. And a Krillin. Uh, Salnol. Interesting. Perina. And some Angel Deboras. <laughs> Very cool. And uh, some more Angel Deboras. Some Gammas right here. Looking badass, I gotta say. So these are the arts, of course. And then that's the, uh, I guess, story asset. And also some Angel Videl. Some Angel Bulma, Angel Chi Chi. Some more plushies and a few backgrounds so there you have it guys that was the data download for um tonight once again a massive shout out to uh proton 10mg on twitter i'm not really sure how he does it honestly because like he literally you know drops these uh posts on his page like i want to say 30 minutes after the data download comes out and it takes some time to like acquire all these assets you know so like uh i guess my point is like Shout out to him, man. Shout out to Proton. We always appreciate it. And uh, real quick, before we go, let's check out the details for the Fizz Angel Dabora and also the PyCon Extreme Z Awakening. So <clears throat> starting here with the Halloween Free-to-Play Angel Dabora. Leader skill is going to be Other World Warriors, Category Key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 50%. Super attack, raise the attack for one turn and causes supreme damage. Unit super attack, raise the attack and defense for one turn and causes supreme damage. 
and lowers attack, and it can be activated when there is a unit, sorry, an ally whose name includes Pycon on the team. Uh, passive attack and defense plus 104%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 10% per superclass ally on the team. Superclass allies keep plus 2, attack and defense plus 30%, really good support there actually. And then additional attack and defense plus 104% when the target enemy is in attack down or defense down status. And then recovers HP with candy, so of course he can uh, lower enemy attack, so if the enemy can be lowered or debuffed, um, he'll get this additional attack and defense, right? So, uh, yeah, oh, Link's Innocence, More Than Meets the Eye, Gentlemen, Solid Support, Ma uh, Master of Magic, Other World Warriors, and Shattering the Limit, and categories are Majin Buu Saga, Siblings Bond, and Other World Warriors. So, that is the Angel Tabora overall, really solid. Um, you know, nothing crazy, but good support. You know, he can get some decent attack and defense, actually, with a full super class team, and, um... Definitely usable. <laughs> Definitely usable. I think his links are kind of wonky, so like, you know, it might be hard to find like a good linking partner for him, but other than that, uh, he should be a fun unit to run. Um, and, you know, you don't, we don't really expect too much from these, like, Halloween units anyways, but it's actually quite solid, I gotta say. So that is the Angel Zabora, and then uh, we have the PyCon with the Extreme Z Awakening, the Super Strike PyCon that is. Leader skill, AGL, and STR types keep plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 70%, super attack, supreme damage, and lowers attack and defense. And passive is attack and defense plus 140%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 20%, with each attack performed up to 60%. All allies attack and defense plus 20%, nice. All allies keep plus 1, and attack and defense plus 10% in addition when all allies attack in the same turn are super class. That's even better. And when HP is 80% or more, Chance of performing a critical hit plus 50%. All enemies attack and defense minus 20% and high chance of stunning the attack enemy when there is an extreme class enemy. So, PyCon, uh, looks like an incredible support. Hold on, um, <clears throat> is this chance of performing a critical hit for himself only or is it for the entire rotation? Is that part of the support passive? Let me just quickly... Uh, take this in. Okay, so all allies keep plus one, attack and defense plus 10% in addition when all allies attacking the same turn are super class. And when HP is 80% or more, chance of performing a critical hit, critical hit plus 50%. Okay, so I'm not 100% sure if this is only for him or for the entire rotation. If this is for the entire rotation, that is absolutely ridiculous. If he's giving 50% crit chance boost to the entire rotation, and he's one of the best supports in the entire game, you know what I mean? I mean, on top of the key plus 2 and attack and defense plus... Or sorry, uh, key plus 1 attack and defense plus 30%, right? Um, I'm leaning towards it's not for, like, his allies. I think it might just be for him, but once again, I'm not sure. So we'll find out once I get a chance to use him, right? And then, uh, you know, the debuff is cool, and the stun is good as well. So, yeah, uh, the EZA is looking really, really solid for this strike. Pycon, lastly, Lynx, Experienced Fighters, Cold Judgment, Bombardment, Shock and Speed, Super Strike, Soul vs. Soul, and Shattering the Limit in categories are Worthy Rivals, Otherworld Warriors, Saviors, Battle of Wits, and Storied Figures. So, that's it guys. That was the data download. That is the uh, Super Strike Pycon, the Angel Deborah, and, uh, you know, all the assets we went through. A massive shout out once again to... Proton 10 MG for posting everything. We appreciate it a lot. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Uh, of course, I will be doing a pass or pull for the Gammas. And then when their banner drops, um, I'll be doing summons as well. Uh, either a stream or a video, I'm not sure yet, but you'll see me summon regardless of uh, the format. So stay tuned for that. And uh, guys, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.